I'm working on adding uh, granite pavers over here on the key. And uh, originally I started and I ended right here. And I've put on three more sheets in the meantime and brought it over to here. And the uh, trick is to get the whatever surface you've got at or below the level of the track. Which I have achieved. It's level with the track. I am just about to put on um, a curb This is a uh, plastic strip, it's styrene, and I've notched it all the way along, and I'm getting ready to glue it down. And for this, I'll use super glue or cyanoacrylate. working now is up here behind these blocks on this section of track where I tore out the foam. Um, the foam was okay. It, uh, I'll probably leave some of it in, but uh, the, uh, the paving stones look so much better. I'm templating with paper. You just press it down and it uh, takes the impression of the uh, shape and then you just cut it out. I use scissors. I mean you could use a knife I guess. I find scissors to be uh, very expeditious in cutting things out and in some cases considerably more accurate. I installed the new rock face over here. I didn't like the other one. I didn't think it uh, was in keeping with the one on the other side. Which looks like that. Now I have painted this, but um, I have some mosses and some other things to add. That's not what I'm doing right now. What I want to do right now is I want to... Uh, I use static grass down here. I refresh the surface. And um, just the pure static grass, it, it's just too boring. So I'm insetting... some tufts and bushes. To make it more interesting. We'll get some glue. The glue I'm using is a combination of Liquitex and Woodland Scenic Static Grass Glue.
It'll dry clear and very strong. Now these pieces are probably just about set up so I can take the pens out. They tend to, the little pieces of, uh, these are tufts that I put in here. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Give something for the eye to look at. There's a light colored one here. It's not glued down. And there's a, some darker patches here. And then this little bushy thing. On the other side, I have some pieces laid out. That's not where they're going to go, but I'm going to do the same process over here and inset these.
let's give it a true test. This little 060 USA tank. Well, that didn't look too good. I don't think that car or that uh, wagon couples up too well. Let's get a different one. Jerky little thing. Maybe needs a little coal. Okay. Well, let's continue. The next thing I need to do is take out some more of this and paint it. Clean it and paint it. Well, I'm not going to get this done in this episode, obviously. Uh, but I'll work on it from time to time until I get it as far as I want to take it. And in the meantime... Why don't you uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you're not subscribed, why don't you subscribe? That way you can get the updates as they come along. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye from Farland.